Now for Ask the Expert, it's that time of year again. We're talking mosquitoes and ticks, bugs becoming more active. This is increasingly important in light of the Zika virus. That's why we have Dr. Brian Baer here. He talks to us this afternoon on things you can do to protect yourself. Let's start with the Zika virus. Well, it has to be a big consideration, considering it's all the talk on all, yeah. the, all the stations and everywhere. But as we talked about last week, there hasn't been a case in Wisconsin yet. So I wanted to remind the viewers that it's really important to remember that mosquitoes also transmit West Nile virus. And a big threat in Wisconsin is the deer tick, which is endemic to this area. It's very important to think about that. It transmits Lyme disease. So strategies, how do you protect yourself if you're going to be outside? And you know, what are the most at-risk areas? Well, the at-risk areas are wooded areas. And one of the things you can do is avoid areas that have standing water. And if you have it in your yard or outside in a bucket, eliminate it. Don't go it. hang out. <laughs> Don't go hang out. And if you're going to hang out outside, one of the strategies that I thought was pretty cool is get a fan because mosquitoes can't fight against that that force and get at you but the the other things we talk to people about are keeping covered you want to wear some uh, long sleeve clothes obviously when it gets warmer that's tough dark, yeah. um, but I also avoid dawn and dusk because mosquitoes are most active at those times. I imagine as we approach this season, we're going to see a lot of advertising on things that you should buy, repellents that you can have that sort of protect you. So what is your advice on that? Well, I think the gold standard still remains DEET. And it's in concentrations of about 10 to 30 percent. And the interesting thing is the mosquitoes don't like the smell of it. it it's irritating to them, so it's very effective. Uh, the three things to remember are, in kids under age two, only apply it once a day. Don't apply it in kids who are under two months of age. And pregnant women should make sure that they wash it off when they get inside. Um, as you saw in the graphic, there are other effective things as well that we use. Picaridin, which uh, is from black pepper, is actually very effective. It's somewhat of an irritant, uh -huh. um, but it can only be used once a day. And lemon eucalyptus oil is effective as well, except it's oil. So, you know, it's not as easy to get off. And it's an offshoot of citronella, which is very somewhat effective as well. There's some new products out there now that are solar powered that you plunk in the ground and they spray mosquito repellent and they're effective as well. I had not heard of those. And, you know, the citronella, you always have the candles. You can use those. They help. You have to be very close to them. <laughs> like, Hanging uh, out by the candle. Right. Hey, don't touch me. <laughs> well, always good advice. We appreciate you sharing that information with us. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you.